Hello YouTube, um, in this video I'm going to be showing off the, um, well explaining and showing you exactly how a full adder works with uh, binary numbers. Um, this is not going to be compact but it will um, go into a lot more detail than uh, the full adder here. Okay, so to start with you've got two inputs. First you want to XOR them together, so build an XOR gate. If you don't have to build this, go and watch my uh, tutorial on the XOR gate. This is uh, when we are uh, rushing through building these gates. Okay, actually I'll just build, uh, bring these out a bit further. I'll explain why later. Okay. So now you've got the uh, um, your XR. Now I need to take both of these and and them together. So if I take this over like so, uh, I'll build it here. Hopefully this won't get in the way. And then I'll uh, I'll take this one here. Okay, now we need to and these together. So um, build your and gate. And there's your output. Okay, so now you need to um, uh, now you've done your A and your B's. This is effectively a half adder. This does not include the carry in. So one add zero is one. One add one is two. And that's your carry out. So now I'm going to show you how to make it into a full adder. You um you take your carry in, which I'll just place here, and you um uh, you XR oops you XR these together. Just turn off the rain. We should just keep off the rain automatically. So anyway. Okay, now you've got your this is this will be your sum output I think and now you need to um, what's on here? oh yeah sorry now uh, sorry complete mind blank there now you need to add these two together so um this is where it gets a bit complicated just Take uh, take this one and add them together. And take this one. Uh, if I take it out here. Okay. So you've got um, the output of this and the carry in being XR'd, being anded. So now I just build the AND gate. And now we just uh, join these two together. Uh, that's not going to reach. Just place a repeat in there. Okay. So um, you can call that an R gate if you want, but yeah, whatever. Um, so this is exactly how this works. Just as in C, some very clever persons managed to compact it into just this space instead of having it like so. So I'll just go through it once more. You've got two inputs, wait, so you've got three inputs. There's your third. A, B and carry in or C in. First of all you XR A and B and you AND A and B. Then you take the output from the XR and XR it with the um, with the uh, with the carry in, and then take the output with from the first XR and the carry in, and you and these two together. 
and then you join up your two AND gates and that will be your carry out and this will be a sum um, so yeah this is quite hard to explain why this works um, it's basically because this will only allow the output to go, to go through if one input is on and this will only allow the output to go through if both of them are on and then use that logic to create the adder so I'll um, just give a quick demonstration just so you'll be able to see it from the other end didn't mean to destroy that uh, I've got a feeling this has been a long video so I apologize for that but it's much more complicated than the other one to build okay so one add zero is one one add one is two one add one add one is three you can change that and add one add one here and that makes two I could have one add one here and that makes two so yeah that proves that it works so this was um yeah this is an explanation video on the compact adder go and watch my uh, on yeah on the compact adder go and watch my tutorial on how to build that it's much more useful than this so yeah thanks for watching please like rate comment and subscribe